Hello and welcome to Sandy's Left-Handed Crafts. I just wanted to do a project share with you. I'm part of a swapping group called Swapper's Corner and I signed up to do a glamour tag uh, swap and I wanted to share with you before I send it off um, what I made. So the first thing I did was I made her a this is a six by six floating card, uh, shadow box card. And I made a Cricut cutting uh, file that will cut this all out for you if you decide you wanna use it. So, um, but you can see how when you open it up, it makes it so pretty. And it's just floating in there. That's why it's the floating shadow box card. And when it's open, that's what it looks like. And then you can set it up on your desk and look at it. I'll give you a different view later. I also had to make a tag flip. And the tag flip has to have at least six tags in it. One of the tags needs a pocket with some sort of gift in it. And um, there's also a goodie bag at the end that I put on it. Um, and really, this paper pad that I used from Echo Park did all the hard work for me. All I did was cut and paste, pretty much, and glue, and maybe add some embellishments here and there. So, this is my first tag, and it says, Beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And then I had a little magnet here. I just stuck it up here in the corner, because I just love that, because beauty does, does come when you decide to be yourself. Um, and this tag, I'm, because of the papers being two-sided, even the back looks cute. So, And what they can do is if they decide they want to journal on it or whatever, they can, they can add their journal or a picture to the back or, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. Um, this one says, chase your dreams in your favorite heels, of course. And so I added some stickers of some shoes. I added some little... Uh, gems on it. Um, the rule of thumb is whatever tag you make needs to have three embellishments. So I made the tag and then my three embellishments is the gems and the two stickers of the shoes and I'm done. How easy is that? And look at how cute the back is. All the makeup. This one here, I might be a little short on my design but I love the fact I made it an oval and then I matted it with a, a larger oval um, and then I used something from close to my heart called liquid glass it's a it's actually an adhesive but you can use it and it like laminates certain things and makes them shiny so can you see how the dots and the lipstick kind of shine quick easy way to add add some fun so that's that tag and then there's the back this tag was um, part of the four by six cut aparts it says a girl can never have too many shoes I put some uh, gold gems from the Dollar Tree along one edge and then someone gave me this trim in one of my swaps and it just went perfectly with the colors so I added that to the back so um, that's my tag and then I added some also I added the string to my tags it's just kind of some fiber just to kind of add some some texture to it <clears throat> and then there's the back again and doesn't that look cute then this one here says I believe in manicures I believe in overdressing I believe in primping at leisure and wearing lipstick and so here's our lipstick and a bottle of uh, nail polish again I've got the string on the, on the tag and I guess this saying was from Audrey Hepburn and there's the back this is my largest tag that I made and I made it have a pocket and then in the pocket I made a a fun clippy so I put a paper clip in it 
there's a little ribbon, there's a gem. This is the name of the paper pack that I use called Fashionista. And I just use that as kind of a little flag to add some flair. Um, and then a couple of stickers, sunglasses, and your makeup. And I added this paper clip because it doesn't want to stay in the pocket. I didn't make it quite deep enough, but I didn't want to hide her shoes either. So I'm just using this paper clip here to help hold it in so it doesn't come out. And then there's the back. I also did put one of my handcrafted by Sandy's left-handed crafts on the back of it so that she knows who made this. And then this is my little goodie bag that I included. Now tag flips all have to come on a ring, which you can get these rings at the Dollar Tree in a package of like eight or 10 for a dollar. And then uh, this is a bag and I used, I used tape to stick it so she'll have to rip it open but inside the bag I added some gold gems I added some uh, washi tape I added some of those silvery uh, gems to glue down and some ribbon so it's a, it's a cute little fun uh, gift bag and then here I put again the name of the paper fashionista by and I don't know how to say that that name but it looks like Dana or Dany Magstad. So it's a paper offered by Echo Park. And basically that's my swap. So now I'm just going to be carefully packaging it up because packaging counts. Um, you want when you send this happy mail, you want them to be happy when they open it. And so I'm going to use some tissue paper and wrap it up kind of carefully. I'm also going to write her a little note and uh, tell her that I, I made this as a Cricut file and if she'd like to make one, she can always get my Cricut file off of my, off of my, uh, my Sandy's Left Handed Crafts um, Facebook group. So, and that's about it. I did also put a sticker on the back of that that says, Handcrafted by Sandy's Left-Handed Crafts. And that's my logo I made. Sandy with the magic hand and a C. So, Sandy's Left-Handed Crafts. So, having a lot of fun. Enjoyed playing. Can't wait till she gets it because I'm, I'm thinking she will enjoy it. So, hope you're having a great day. Please, if you comment, like, or share, you help my web my YouTube channel and I appreciate it and uh, if you subscribe depending upon what you choose in the drop down box it'll tell you uh, it'll either let you know when I put a new video up or just uh, send you a, a message so thank you hope you have a great day bye